Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Vineet and today we will learn how to install Oracle 19C on your Windows operating system. And all the steps that we are going to follow are available on our website and link is in the description box. Simply visit the website and under the table of content, you will find this option Oracle 19C installation on Windows 10. Click on that. There you will see a link which says download Oracle database 19C. Click on the link. It will redirect you to the uh, official website of Oracle. From there, you have to click on the first link which says Windows 64-bit uh, zip file. Click on the checkbox and click on the download button. It will require your Oracle credentials. Once you have put in the credentials, your file will be downloaded in the system. We have already downloaded the file. So uh, go to your C drive. Inside the C drive, you have to create a new folder with the name Oracle 19C without any spaces. And you have to paste that uh, zip file inside that folder. Once you have pasted the file, file inside that folder, you have to extract the file there. Alright, so our file has been extracted now. So in some cases, you will see a same folder with the same name and inside that folder, you will see all of these files. In case if you are not seeing that way, then you have to create it. So let's create a new folder and give it the same name. You can provide any name, but just to avoid confusion, I am just providing this name. and you have to paste all of these files inside this folder. Once all of these files has been uh, moved to this folder, now go ahead and click on the setup button, uh, setup icon, click on yes. So on this page, you have to uh, select the default option that is create and configure a single instance database and click on next button. Now select desktop class, click on next. In this case, you can select uh, any option, but I will go with the use windows built in account. Now pay attention on this page. Please make a note of everything that you see on this page and all the credentials that you will be you are going to provide. This is uh, one of the important page at, as it uh, it has all the important configurations required for the Oracle. So we have a, a global database name as ORCL and we have a pluggable database that is ORCL PDB and we are going to provide a password. Now, once you have uh, noted down all the information and provided the required information, just click on that next button. At this point, you may get an uh, error that uh, your memory is less or something like that. So in that case, you have to release the memory by going on the uh, task manager and closing few programs. Now, once done, you will see this page. So you can just save the responses on your desktop or anywhere you want to save on your system. And then click on install button. This is a heavy software, so it may take uh, two to five minutes to install depending upon the system. So in the meantime, I'm pausing the video. You will get this kind of prompt which says window defender firewall fire block. firewall has blocked some feature of this app. You simply need to click on allow access. All right, so our 19C has been installed, installed successfully and you can see uh, there is a URL over here. So this URL can be used to monitor the uh, usage of files inside the uh, inside 19C. Let me show you real quick. So you need to click on advance and click on proceed to localhost and there it will ask for the username and password. So our, our username will be sys and the password will be the password that we entered on that screen when I uh, asked you to make a note of everything. So at that time I provided test at the rate one, two, three. I will enter the same credentials over here. So this is the uh, page that we will get. It, it is showing the usage of all the uh, files and directories inside the sys. At the starting, there is no uh, use of this page. So let's go ahead and check. Let's open the command prompt. You can either, either start uh, writing the code on the command prompt or you can just go ahead and use SQL plus. So let's start with SQL plus. So you are successfully logged in as a SysDBA right now. And if you want to log in through command prompt, you can use SQL plus SysDBA. With this, we have learned the installation of Oracle 19C on Windows 10. If this video was helpful, hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.